One of the most acclaimed and celebrated miniseries of all time is Band of Brothers, which tells the story of the Easy Company military unit during World War II. Based on the book by Stephen Ambrose, it caught the attention of Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg, who decided this story should be told on the screen. They then brought on board writer Eric Jenison to help develop the series, along with several other writers who were given the task of adapting the book over 10 episodes. HBO had a lot of confidence in Band of Brothers, giving a $125 million budget, a massive sum for television production in 2001. So what makes this historical drama so compelling? Through its 10 episodes, Band of Brothers succeeds in depicting the soldiers in Easy Company and the obstacles they face. We see them through boot camp and on the battlefields and into the final stretches of the war in Europe. And in that time, we truly do get to know them. Despite the several characters we follow, they succeed in being identifiable and given their own personality that allows them to stand out. The central figure in the series is Major Richard Winters, played by Damien Lewis. Throughout the story, we see him take command of his unit and try to lead them to the best of his ability. His friendship with Captain Lewis Nixon, played by Ron Livingston, is nicely shown with several scenes where we see them working together as they make their way through Europe. The other soldiers in Easy Company also become well portrayed by the various actors, with Scott Grimes, Donnie Wahlberg, Neil Madonna, and Dexter Fletcher among the notable names with significant roles. And because Band of Brothers was filmed primarily in the United Kingdom, several local actors who would become more well-known later in their careers make appearances. Michael Fassbender, Tom Hardy, James McAvoy, Dominic Cooper, Andrew Scott, and Simon Pegg are some who are only just starting out when they were cast in the series. In fact, at the time, the most famous person in the cast was David Schwimmer, who played Captain Herbert Sobel. While he seems like a surprising choice to portray a tough training officer widely disliked by the other soldiers, Schwimmer does a really good job of making him dislike Sobel as much as the men do, although the fairness of his portrayal in Band of Brothers has been called into question. Meanwhile, Colin Hanks makes an appearance, because he apparently knows one of the producers, and Jimmy Fallon shows up in one scene, and it did mentally take me out of it seeing him in a serious World War II drama. What the show does exceptionally well is depict the various emotions and personalities of these soldiers. A military unit is not a monolith, as they are smart soldiers and immature soldiers. You have those who have a desire to shoot any enemy that comes their way, and others who would rather never shoot their gun at any point during the mission. We get that range of traits here, and they also properly evolve as the war continues on. We often hear about how brave several soldiers are, but I think just as important is understanding the fear many go through. Band of Brothers depicts that in many scenes, and they don't know whether the next day on the battlefield will be their last. The directors on the show also made sure to give an idea of what it might have been like to be part of a World War II military unit. The viewers may feel right there with them as they parachute out of an airplane into Normandy or as they sit shivering in the Ardennes forest. A particularly interesting device is having the Nazis appear mostly at a distance, making it difficult to see their faces. Only a few times do we actually get to see them, which highlights the separation between the Allies and the Axis powers during the Second World War. Additionally, the series emphasizes how many men entered those battles and how many did not come out alive. Being on HBO, they were able to make the battle scenes as bloody and violent as they were in Spielberg's Saving Private Ryan. And much like in that movie, the idea is not to turn them into exciting action sequences, but rather to depict just how dangerous they were. When a soldier is killed in the most horrific manner, it's done to show the brutality of those battles and that a bullet could hit them at any time. Band of Brothers recreates some famous battles, most notably the Battle of the Bulge, and highlights how these soldiers had to think quick on their feet as they faced off against the Nazis. The scenes in between the battles of the soldiers just having conversations also work. They feel natural and the friendships are believable along with the disagreements they have with each other. These were men who partly wanted to do their duty, but also treasured the times of rest and relaxation. It's not just soldiers we meet on the show, though. There's an episode where a combat medic befriends a Belgian nurse and we see the effect this has on him. The casualness of those conversations highlights even more the violence of this war. Only a few minutes before, we were seeing these soldiers laughing and talk about things that genuinely interest them and bring them joy, and then they suddenly have to deal with bullets flying and tanks heading towards them. Although the part that startled me the most was not even a scene on a battlefield, but rather a moment between two American soldiers after Germany has surrendered. Meanwhile, the most difficult scene to watch is when the Americans come across a concentration camp for the first time and find piles of bodies and several malnourished Jews. While the Holocaust would become the most well-known aspect of World War II, it was not the reason the United States entered the war. It was instead the growing concern of Germany, Italy, and Japan trying to take over the world, and then finally the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor that resulted in America finally deciding to join their European, Asian, and other allies in defeating the Axis powers. While it was known that Nazis discriminated against Jews, the extent of the evil they were committing was not. So when the American soldiers first saw a concentration camp and what the Nazis had done, it was a genuine shock and gave them a new reason to come out the winning side of the war. That scene in Band of Brothers captures the horror they felt and the relief the Jews had upon seeing the soldiers enter the camp, along with the difficult decisions the Americans had to make. 
I'm about as anti-war as you can get and find most wars unnecessary. But if ever there was a necessary war, it was this one, as a world conquered by Hitler and those on his side would have been horrific and catastrophic. On the production side of things, Band Brothers also succeeded well with the team pulling out all the stops. There was an effort to make the period details as historically accurate as possible, although like any film dramatization, there are some liberties taken. But overall, the attention to detail is outstanding, especially with recreating many locations during the filming in England and Switzerland. After I watched the episode where Holland is liberated, I looked up actual footage of the celebration in Eindhoven depicted in the show, and it's remarkable how close to the real thing they got. Michael Kamen composed the music for Band of Brothers and wrote a fitting main theme, as well as other pieces of music that capture the multitude of emotions the soldiers feel throughout. Some notable directors were responsible for making these episodes, with each working with Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg to make sure each episode flowed nicely. Hanks even directed one of them himself, and others who contributed include Field of Dreams director Phil Alden Robinson, The Devil Wears Prada director Dave Frankel, and Academy Award nominated cinematographer Mikhail Solomon. All the talents involved with the production of Band of Brothers really helped give it a cinematic feel. Another element I appreciate is that every episode begins with interviews with the actual soldiers in Easy Company, which serve as excellent lead-ins for what we're about to see. The last remaining member of Easy Company, Bradford Clark Freeman, died only two years ago, which is sadly a reminder that soon the generation who fought in World War II will no longer be with us, and it's so important that stories are preserved and remembered for the future. There are so many, including myself and probably many of you watching this, who would not be alive today were not for Easy Company and the several other Allied soldiers who risked so much during that war. Band of Brothers is an engaging miniseries that was able to have the audience follow several characters, mainly dressed in similar attire, and was somehow able to make them easily identifiable and emotionally attached to several as they face a war against an enemy constantly shooting at them. You take this journey with easy company, and by the end you appreciate what they've accomplished and sacrificed, although with that element of sadness too. See you next time.